Okay, so now all of our walls are created. Um, basement walls, stem walls. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to depress or make some cutouts in these walls. Um, I like doing this at this stage just because it's a little trickier to get to later. Uh, but for this building, what we're going to be doing, we would have a furnace let's say in our basement um, so the airflow we need it if there's living space here we'd run it want to run it through this wall um, we're also going to have a little crawl space access so if you see some of the the homes around slow where we're, we're at there, we've got a lot of these crawl space footings or elevated um, I guess slabs or elevated uh, floor systems. So what that allows you to do is run a lot of your mechanical systems, electrical, plumbing under um, this elevated floor. So there's going to be some type of crawl space here. So I like scrolling over here just so I can see my wall. And then once you click on it, just left click, we're going to go over here to edit profile. So a few different ways, but I don't like doing this in um, my 3D view because the lines can get a little wonky. So I like going to one of these elevations. See north, I can't really see it. I'm just seeing one side of it. South, same thing. So let's go to east. Okay, so now with your east is actually a good location to look at because um, what we're going to be doing is we want um, our HVAC access. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw this. So I'm going to use my line tool. So what we're doing is just modifying. So I want this to be somewhere over here, but don't draw it outside of the crawl space because that wouldn't make sense. Because again, the equipment and what we're doing is a heat, heat duct, let's say, is coming from the basement into this crawl space. So I'm drawing it right about here. So I want this to be 16 inches. And just be careful here. Make sure you put inches because how it reads again is in feet by 16 inches and then up and then all I have to do is trim this now because I'm for some reason very bad with the trim tool um, but you can use the trim tool Let's see if I think you just have to highlight everything I have bad luck with it highlight everything trim extend yeah, let's try it trim I want to trim See, never works for me. So, um, what I like doing is just deleting this line. Give you a little error at first, but that's okay. Because we're going to draw in now our crawl space axis. So, our crawl space axis is going to be a little bit bigger. So, it's going to be twenty four inches down, which is really the whole depth, or almost the whole depth of your footing. It's just your stem wall, so 24 inches down and 32 inches wide. Back up here, okay. So these magenta lines always have to be connected. I'll show you that. So right now we've got a gap, so we're just closing off this gap, and one more right here, closing off this gap. And once we're good, hit the screen check box. Let's check it out in 3D. You will get an error message if there is... Um, one of those lines not being connected. So this will start making sense once we put in our floor, but again, I just like doing it now because um, it gets a little tricky when we start putting in our walls or we just have to start hiding stuff. Okay, so this is great. Um, so same idea here. I'm going to do my garage door next. So uh, your garage door typically, um, if we have a stem wall like this, um, We'll have a little depression, so we're going to put a 12-inch drop for our garage door. So click on this, same step here, Edit Profile, and I think we can go to south or north. I kind of want to see it as I'm seeing the front of the house, so it's going to be our south elevation. All right, so a couple different ways to do it here. Um, I like kind of doing this one. So I'm just going to delete it. So our garage door typically is, it's a 20 foot wide um, 
garage, so I believe the one in Revit, and we can adjust it if we need to, is 16 feet wide. So that's going to leave, um, let's go ahead and draw this first. I just like checking it. So right here it's coming up as 20, which is pretty good. So that's going to tell me I'm going to leave 2 feet on both sides. So 20 minus 16 is 4. So I've got 2 foot. Again, I'm just coming down 12. Is that right? Yep, 12 inches. Over 16 feet. Back up to my level line and connect the dot here. Hit your green check mark. Check it out in 3D. Okay, hit escape. So again, this will start making sense once we draw our slabs too. Right. So next, let's go ahead. Let's say we want a um, little, uh, what's it called, like a trash door or whatnot on the side or the back. I'm going to put mine on the back because I want like a little garage or a, a stoop back here, concrete stoop. So same idea. We click on it, edit profile. We're going to go this one. We should go to north view. So this is just going to be a, a little door depression. So same idea. I don't want this door to be all the way against the wall. So you can't even keep it. I'm going to kind of carry mine over. I think like a, honestly, like six inches is pretty good. But I want to go six inches past this face. So really, I'm just going to come over nine inches down 12. And I think the the prompt says a two foot ten door, but I really like bigger doors, so bigger dude, I guess. I'm gonna go three foot door. Connect it up, and then we're gonna tie it all the way back in. So once we're good here, hit your green, check it out in 3D. So now we've got our garage door depression as well as our little back door depression. Um, and that's it for our depression. So next step, we're going to go ahead and add in a few of our slab on grades. I like doing this one first, just so you start understanding um, what these cutouts or depressions were for. So in our garage, we're going to have a step outside of our house um, and come down and we'll have little steps in here and whatnot we can draw in later. But so we want our top of slab, let's say, to be equal with this depression. So it's going to come down three feet. Um, so I just like checking it out to where I'm at in my levels. So a quick way to do that. So where did I draw? I don't know why those got swapped. It's weird. It's okay. We can play with that later. Um, so my garage slab from my level three, I want to depress it 12 inches. So I'm going to go to my level three. I'm going to come up here to structure slab. I think by default we just have a six inch slab, but I want to change this to be a four inch slab on grade. So duplicate we're going to make this four inches, six inches a little big for some conditions. Our dirt's good, let's say. So good here. Now we're going to go to edit and adjust this to four inches. Okay. So now we're in my drawing mode. I like using my boundary line and I'll show you why. So I'm going to click. So I want this slab to line or go inside of the stem wall, but over here, you can see, if I click on it, the lines are just going to be a little long. So you can tailor them back. That one fixed it. Good. Drag this one back. See, it's still a little long. Okay, cool. It cut. So this looks good. I'm going to hit green. It's going to usually, would you like, and just say no. I don't really know what that means. Would you like, to, no. So I don't want it to cut through. I want that slab to be inside of that stem wall. Whoops, I didn't even adjust the properties, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to adjust them now. So the height offset, I want it to be, 
or here let's look at it without doing it so here's where my slab is and this is actually good let's go ahead and depress that one foot perfect so now my slab should be level with these cuts we just did great Okay, so next up, uh, since we're still on our level three, let's say, we're gonna go ahead and put in our patio slab next. So boundary lines are just to show you, you can use this little rectangle box. So this one is not going on the inside of our stem wall, it's going on top of the stem wall. Click. I'm going to hit no again because, again, it wants to connect something that I don't want it to. I usually just default and click no when we get those messages because it's easier to fix it if you see something went wrong um, than to adjust everything that they manually did because I think they wanted to pull up this wall or who knows. Okay, so we're going to have a floor on this side, a framing floor, but on our basement, all that we're missing now is our... Um, slab down below. So this is just like our estimating homeworks. So what we've been doing is we're putting our slab on grade on top of the footing. So this is going to be at my level two. So I'm going to click back to my level two. And now we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to structure slab. So this one's a little different because again, if we click that level two, it's going to draw this thing into the footing. So I want this to offset the thickness of my slab. So I'm going to offset it a positive four inches. The boundary lines are okay. That looks good. No. And let's check it out. Great. So now we've got all of our slab on grades in our garage, our basement, as well as um, our patio. So yeah, if you wanted to draw in, I'm going to kind of wait till it later, but let's just say you wanted a back little stoop. Um, you can go ahead and draw that in the back, but I'm just going to kind of save it from here. Um, so this is really all that we're doing this week. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a sheet in the next video and print it as a PDF. And then next week we're going to start on our walls and roofs. Please let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk soon.